Hi, blockchain visionaries. I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how to protect your Bitcoins from prying hands and anyone that could be trying to take them away from you. Stay tuned. If you regularly use cryptocurrency or you've been following my videos, you can see that many times I will go to places and I will actually pay using Bitcoin. It's very convenient for me. Instead of carrying my wallet, I can actually just simply take my mobile device and pay for something by using Bitcoins. As a result, some people think that I carry a lot of Bitcoins with me, but that's not really the case. Just like you would not carry thousands of dollars in your wallet, you would keep the brunt of it in a bank, for example. You don't want to carry all your crypto on a mobile device that could be subject to hacking or somebody could steal your mobile device. So you really don't want to carry a lot of cryptocurrency with you. What you'd rather do is instead of actually keeping the brunt of it on a mobile device, what you want to do is you want to keep most of it offline. And what you do is you have multiple ways to do that. One of the ways is to use what's known as a hardware wallet. A hardware wallet is a device that connects to your computer and it lets you take your private keys off of any device that's connected onto the internet and actually take it offline on these little devices that you store offline. They're called hardware wallets and there's many of them. There's a Ledger Nano, there's Keep Key, there's Trezor, and there are other hardware wallets that you can use to actually protect yourself by taking your private keys offline. Another way that you can actually protect yourself is using what is known as a paper wallet. And I'm going to show you exactly what a paper wallet looks like. This is a paper wallet. And right now, this doesn't have any Bitcoins inside. I'm using it just as an example. I created this paper wallet just to show you that there is actually a public key, which you can share with anybody. And this is a secret key. This is what lets you unlock any funds that are actually stored in here. And what's beautiful about a paper wallet is that this is not connected to the Internet. And the advantage of that is that if you keep your Bitcoins in multiple paper wallets, not just one paper wallet, but just keep different amounts in different paper wallets, you're able to store your cryptocurrency safely offline where no one can reach it. Key things you need to remember when you use a paper wallet is that this is made of paper. So if it gets wet or if you lose it, you basically could lose all the funds that are stored inside this specific uh, paper wallet. In order to help you be able to create your own paper wallets, I have generated a page where I give you full instructions on how you can create this same exact paper wallet that I have here offline, which will be the most secure way to do that. The way you do that is to visit blockchaininformer.com slash paper wallet, and you will find full instructions on how to create your own paper wallets. And I'll give you a link to a generator where you can actually create these yourself. So the key things for you to remember is that when you're dealing with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, keep the brunt of it offline where people can't reach them. Don't store it all on your mobile device, which you can get hacked or on your computer. Always keep your storage offline. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I encourage you to subscribe. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm George Levy. We are changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.